The House trying to get to the bottom of bias at the Biden FBI and DOJ and whether upset school parents were investigated as domestic terrorists. The brand new subcommittee holding its first of many hearings on political weaponization mm. within those federal agencies. But Democrats don't want to hear it. The White House trying to brush off the entire thing as a political stunt. It's rich. My time in Congress, I have never seen anything like this. Dozens and dozens of whistleblowers, FBI agents coming to us, talking about what's going on, the political nature at the Justice Department. I'm deeply concerned about the use of this select subcommittee as a place to settle scores, showcase conspiracy theories, and advance an extreme agenda that risk undermining Americans' faith in our democracy. Democrats say this is a waste of time. Perhaps they should listen to this former FBI agent. The FBI became politically weaponized starting from the top in Washington and trickling down to the field offices. They are not at the liberty to allow their personal political views or preferences to determine their course of action or inaction in any investigation. Lady Justice must remain blind. Those that do not uphold these responsibilities cause a negative ripple effect throughout the agency in the field. It's as if there became two FBIs. Americans see this and it is destroying the Bureau's credibility, causing Americans to lose faith in the agency I didn't know Lady Justice was blind. No, she's not. She's not? She's blindfolded. Uh, that's what I thought. You did not think that. I did. You I thought, did? hmm, interesting. Mm. Yeah, that's enough from you, Judge. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dana, it's like, remember who blamed the video? I loved who, who blamed pushed the, video? the video. Who pushed the who, video? Yeah, who decided that parents would be redefined as domestic terrorists? That's a question that we should be asking. So that's actually interesting Garland? you say that. So the, the interesting thing about that is that this group, um, Parents Defending Education, right? They're the ones who figured it out. They uncovered these emails. And the, do you remember, did you watch The Wire? Yes, of the course. Stringer Bell, he, 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 he says, are you taking notes on a criminal conspiracy? Mm -hmm. And he's shaming them. Mm -hmm. It turns out what these guys were able to do just by using uh, FOIA, which Jesse knows very well, FOIA, for Freedom of Information, Freedom of Information Request. They got emails that say, "Okay, you are. We're all concerned about parents at these teachers' union or teachers' PTA meetings. So you send us a letter, and you suggest that we should use the Patriot Act. And if you then if you send us that letter, then we can move on and do something else. So they were coordinating with this outside group to work against the parents and." This committee is just beginning to start to look at all of these things. The parents is only the first thing. And they're going to go after now, are they going after radical Catholics? Yes. Those are people that use their rosaries as a weapon. <laughs> but no, it's crazy. They're, they're, like, that's, this is nuts, Judge. This is nuts. It really, it's not the weaponization that's such an overused word. It's the politicalization. It is a politicalization, but if you're on the other end of an indictment, it is the weaponization. And, you know, for years we've heard about the Russia collusion and, and we've got all of these hearings by Grassley and, and by uh, uh, Ron Johnson and, and, and letters from whistleblowers. The bottom line is this. We've heard about it for six years. It's time that we have these hearings. It's time that we listen to the people who are making the allegations in front of the American people. And they lied about Russia collusion. They lied to the FISA court. They lied about the Steele dossier. The nation was ruptured. And now we've got the FBI and the Department of Justice sicking the, the terrorist part of their agencies after parents. Mm -hmm. Within five days, three really, because it was a weekend, of hearing from the United Federation of teachers. Yep. So, I mean, this is really um, an effort to put the evidence in front of the American public because the left is saying, oh, the Republicans, you know, they're just having a hissy fit. No, these are facts. This is evidence. And we're tired of a two-tiered system of justice. And this will explain it. Jessica, it is pretty funny. I mean, listening to the Democrats call this a political stunt when that's all you guys do with your multiple, <laughs> your multiple hearings, your impeachments. You guys invented the political stunt. You must be embarrassed, almost humiliated by that tape we played. I feel pretty okay about it, actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> the congressional political stunt has obviously gone on for a while, and I would argue even had... It was Kevin McCarthy himself, now Speaker of the House, who was on tape uh, telling Hannity that Benghazi, the hearings were a stunt to lower Hillary Clinton's approval ratings. And guess what? They managed to do that. She testified for 11 hours, didn't plead the fifth once. Um, what and, difference does that make, though? Well, nice. Well, In your face, Jessica. Not really. <laughs> you know what it is, though? though? She's Does it laughing. matter? 
Does, does pleading the fifth matter? I, I think. No, I, no. What I'm saying is, if that's a political stunt, we on the five were we were damn interested in that hearing because we wanted to know about well, the I video. Didn't die. Four people yeah. died, including died. ambassador. Who she was very video. close. To yeah. It. I, I'm just saying that someone who is now the most powerful Republican mm -hmm. admitted that it was a political stunt, so don't say that we invented it. Mm -hmm. So the hearings were about a lot more than just teacher uh, parents becoming call, being called domestic terrorists, and I would add that there were parents who were threatening school board members and teachers. There was also talk of, I mean, Chuck Grassley um, was talking about Hillary Clinton, talking about Hillary Clinton's emails were back in 2016 again. Um, that was already investigated. It was and 11 days before the election. We all know what Jim Comey did. I mean, Dan Goldman, who was my congressman and head of the Bagel Caucus, which I love, asked Jim Jordan when he was going to supply the transcripts for the whistleblowers that he kept mentioning to the minority. I think that if you were running a committee and you want to be taken seriously, you should make sure that the minority has the evidence that you keep referring right, to. Right, like what they did in the basement with Adam Schiff in that whole Russia yeah. collusion what? one? What, yeah. When, when the Republicans were invited down to the skiff and then ordered Chick-fil-A, is, is that what you're talking about? I'm talking okay. about... Just don't... Def if, you, if you were running the committee, you would provide the minority with all of the evidence. I know that you would, Judge. Look, we're talking about whistleblowers, and without yeah. getting into the laws that protect them, unless and until they have the ability to speak publicly. That's why we're having... But they having had already a, testified. On. Let's, but let them speak, and at that point... You can tape record it or they'll send you the transcript. I, Go to Jesse. Oh, <laughs> which means she agrees with me. <laughs> so now, you're, now you're running the B block, Judge. Huh? All right. Uh, so Grassley comes out today and he says he's got an FBI whistleblower that's telling him that the FBI knows all about Hunter Biden's crimes. And he has evidence that Joe Biden knows about all of Hunter's business and also has evidence that Joe was involved in Hunter Biden's criminal business. And no one's even talking about it. You don't want to know why? Because everybody already knows that. Mm. Yeah. Everybody already knows all of this stuff. Yeah. So what is the end game here? Oh. And this is my grievance. Uh, You're going to oh. have a hearing. We get screwed, then we have a hearing. Nothing happens. We get screwed again. We have a hearing. Nothing happens. Same thing with Benghazi. They just got these guys to sign NDAs, and it just goes away. It, it Hillary goes to the Justice plans Department. We okay. don't have the Justice Department. You refer Department. to the Justice Department. We're investigating the Justice Department, and then they laugh at us. Okay, then DeSantis gets elected. Trump gets elected. What's he going to go in there and fire Chris Ray? Last time anybody so. did that, he got impeached for it. He got a special counsel down his throat. Or you go in and you leave Chris Ray in there, and then he blackmails you. So we have an FBI dictatorship here. You either fire him and die, or if you can't, or you can't touch him and you still die. And then the media comes out, doesn't even cover any of the that substance of the, the worst. hearing. Thank you. <laughs> so this thing's totally contained over here, and no one discusses it. I'm sick of these hearings. Make me feel better, guys. Tell me this is going somewhere. Can I throw some in prison? Can yes. someone go to jail? Can someone yeah, get if fined? We had an objective Department Wait, of Justice. We don't we have a tier two. They're tier under tier investigation. Department of we Justice. We don't have an objective That's anything very, anymore. We don't. Just very quickly, you guys got the Durham investigation, which was supposed to blow the lid off of exactly. all of this, and it ended up with nothing because exactly. there is nothing. Yeah, there is nothing. Oh, there is DC. nothing. Stop. No, not because the jury was in D.C. You, you can't. guys oh, admitted God, you planted the dossier. Yeah, what? You admitted you framed him as a traitor, we and then you want to investigate. Our investigation. We're investigating the investigators. We, We're investigating the investigators. We don't live in the same world. It's just crazy. Exactly. Your world's fake. Oh, My world is winning. We're following the facts. Oh, you're winning. Because you guys are yeah, corrupt. We are winning. You robbed my vote. This is the best. You voted in New York. What are you talking about? What? <laughs> Oh yeah, go to break. <laughs> Judge, tell him to go to break. All right. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.